I like the refresh. I like it a lot. And uh, I, I think a lot of people are going to like it as well. Like, like the range improvement thing too, I think when, once, once Plaid gets out, um, I think they're going to roll that technology down and, and hopefully we'll be improving the, the range of all of the vehicle lineup. Yeah, and that, that was actually the silver lining that I'm still kind of thinking through, or not silver lining actually, is that it was a late 2021 for Plaid with 520 miles of range, and then all of a sudden they refresh and you can buy Plaid, but it has way less range, and then Plaid Plus is really the same specs they were touting originally, but that's still not available. And so what I think happened is they put this out, but the 4680 cell is not in the car yet. And that's why I tweeted it and I asked Elon and no answer because I don't think they want to give too much details on it, but that's what I was wondering. It's like, okay, the Plaid Model S was talked about at Battery Day as having this new structural pack, having this new structural cell. And to me, that's the game changer is the Plaid. It's not that it goes a little faster. It's 520 miles of range in a production car, but that's not the Plaid variants that Tesla's selling yet. That's the Plaid Plus that they've rebranded as Plaid Plus. So I think the 4680 is going to come in the Plaid Plus like they even said on the conference call, it's the 18650s and the non-Plaid Plus. So I thought that was kind of interesting between the lines of like they did it, but it wasn't like like before you were ordering the Plaid and it was 520. And then when they dropped the Plaid, that was the Plaid Plus and you could only order this lower range one. So I feel like that news kind of went under the radar and to me it has some interesting, uh, you know, implications about the battery cell production. So you think with the Plaid Plus has the new batteries? That's my theory. And I think that they don't want to confirm it because that is true. And they, I don't know. I just think to me, that's the only, or, or how else do they get that range bump? Is it a much bigger pack? I don't, I don't know. It's kind of my guess. I wonder, I wonder if they're trying to avoid the Osborne effect on what's available now. Like they want to sell the Plaid right now today. And if they, if they say, oh, the new battery technology is in the Plaid Plus, then people are going to wait a little bit longer. Maybe. Um, I don't know. Like I saw... Um, uh, Jordan from the Limiting Factor was doing some um, theorizing on on the differences, and I think that I think that he said a lot of the improvements were just done by efficiency, dropping weight, cutting weight on the vehicle, and um, and so if they've done some improvements in some other areas too, I think that that, that that's gotta that's that's gotta equate to like a better profit margin per car on these more expensive vehicles. Yeah, and I think I hope Tesla is really juicing the margin on these because these aren't the cars that are changing the world. These are price insensitive buyers who just want something a little faster. It's a supercar. Like I think we should be making thirty plus percent gross margins on these, um, and I think they're going to be super profitable for Tesla. You know, the Model S and X were their most profitable lines before the kind of sales dip with the three and Y. So hopefully these you know tick back up.